Hello, this is Kyle Randall Tancic from Michigan Medieval. Um, and before we get into the book review, just so you're aware of my own biases, um, I am primarily a Fiorist when it comes to my dagger and longsword, but I've got about 14 years of HEMA experience. And of course, everyone knows that means lots of book buying and book reading experience. Um, so, but enough about me. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Flower Battle uh, MS Ludwig XV-13, which is also known as the Getty. Um, and this is translated by Colin Hatcher, with layout by Tracy Mello, produced by Tyrant Industries, and the introduction to some historical commentaries by Richard Marsden. Um, so the first thing to note about this book is the look of it and the imagery. Pretty cool. Um, the images and the color of them is very true to the original, um, but sometimes that means it's hard to see from a distance. Um, the, uh, the white stripe here in the binding, eh, it'd be kind of cooler if that went, if the color went all the way to the binding, but that's a small matter. Um, it's still a textbook, you know what I mean? Um, so it would be cool, if anybody knows me, if we had a copy more like this, Skyrim book, looks very ancient, the colors, paper's weathered, goes all over the air. But, I mean, like, it's a textbook, not a movie prop, so what are you gonna do? Um, so, the illuminated text in the beginning is really beautiful. Um, let me find it here, there we go. The illuminated text, it is. Um, I once, uh, when I, <laughs> I was in Italy, I was training at the Sala de Arms, uh, Kile Marozzo, Roma, and uh, my instructor, Andrea, I showed him this, I was like, look, and he saw that it was in English and not in the original medieval Italian. He just goes, bello, which is like beautiful. And if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me, for sure. Um, so one thing that some people have a gripe with of this book is that a couple of the images have been edited for like continuity. And so like, um, if you look at like, a, I don't know, like the long sword might be like, this one's on top of the description says it's this way. They've edited it just to make it make more sense. So. Um, the durability of this book is pretty good. Um, I, this is my second copy of it. The first one got destroyed, the cover fell off. Um, but that was after like, you know, a year or two of use in the back of my bag while I'm riding my bike a couple of miles to and from class with a bunch of sweaty gear and all kinds of weather. So this is all things considered pretty durable. Yeah, no big gripes with it. Um, the translation. So my Italian is rudimentary. My medieval Italian is even less rudimentary. Um, uh, so <laughs> take it with a grain of salt, but I'm happy with it. Some people aren't. Um, the one thing I will say is that learning all the terminology from this book in particular, um, I was training with my friend George from Black Swamp Hema in Ohio, and his terminology from other sources was like maybe slightly different. Just like lingo, kind of like jargony things, nothing like critical. Um, but there was like slight differences from other translations you might have encountered over the years. Um, so maybe uh, something to be warned about. That might be a club culture thing, not necessarily a translation thing. Um, I would say this translation is good enough for HEMA. <laughs> That's how I would describe it. Um, you encounter certain things like, um, which I think is awesome. You get like the, uh, where is it? Scambiera Punta. Exchange of points, it'll say, where is that? Somewhere right around in here, there's an exchange of points. Play, there we go. And it says like specifically, it'll go like scambio punta, and that's the only thing that'll be in Italian in the whole like page or rompere de punta. And that's because they're like letting you know like, hey, Hema people will use this jargon. This is made by Hema people, for Hema people, you know? So like, that's cool. I commend them for doing that. Um, practicality. Uh, okay, does this book sit open? <laughs> yes, this is super important. So I can just look down at my book and see, yeah, I'm working on this, I'm working on that one. Um, it sits open. This is <laughs> way more important than people probably know. Um, publishers probably know. Um, another really critical, important thing it has in the beginning here, table of contents. Um, the Paris copy of Fiore does not have a table of contents from the same uh, publisher, but that's for reasons that we'll have to explore in the, when I review that book. But table of contents, hugely important for making this book more practical. Um, 
the one thing that is missing that would be nice in here is when we have like, for instance, we'll see these dudes like first master longsword, student, you know, countermaster. They're not labeled as such. They're just given their number, 25 uh, V, D, whatever. It would be nice for beginners or people first getting into this who don't really understand like how this maybe the book is like kind of codified that it would be nice if it was like this is the first master the second master this is first student counter countermaster um i think that would really help people i'm not sure why they chose not to put it in there um maybe just call it the page i don't know uh at times the text is very faint so the text is like a very light uh, it's like a medium brown and the page is like a light brown like sometimes the text can be really hard to read but it is true to the color of the original text, the original manuscript. So, you know, this is kind of like whatever you want to get. Uh, there's no ribbon bookmark. I use like paper bookmarks. It'd be nice if there was like a ribbon bookmark. Maybe that was just to keep the cost down. Um, the actual images are pretty light. Um, it'd be nice if they were a little darker. I could show it up, hold it up to my students or whoever, and they can be, oh, I can see it from a distance. But, you know, again, this one's more true to the original manuscript colors. So, I get it. It's just kind of a matter of whatever you're going to use it for. So the big thing and why this is my favorite version of this book is that this is a $40 book um, and you can get it for $30 like soft cover, $30 hard cover on Amazon, um, Prime, Ship, wherever you need it. Um, super cheap. Other copies of Fiore that you will find maybe a hundred more, hundred or more dollars, um, maybe hard to find, super readily available. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love this book is that literally anybody can buy it. Like, anybody can buy a $30 book. <laughs> it's not going to be, like, Lord of the Rings copy cheap, you know what I mean? But it's still an obscure textbook. But it's still, you know, I think it's affordable. So uh, what you get for your money is you get a 112 pages book. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't seem like that many pages, but as you can see, there's, like, eight plays or techniques or guards per page. And so, like, you know, that's like 400, <laughs> probably about 400 uh, um, individual illustrations and stuff. So, I mean, it, it's worth it. Uh, also, I would say that it covers like five or ten different weapons and weapon combinations. So you get a lot of content. Okay, overall closing thoughts on this book. Um, I think this is like the perfect first HEMA book. If you're brand new to HEMA, this is like the perfect book for you. Um, it's got a bunch of different weapons. It's got a bunch of easy terminologies. It gives you English and Italian. Um, it's very entertaining. I think it's, it's a good place to get started. But that being said, it's also true enough to the original source material that if you're an experienced practitioner, you'll be like satisfied with the thoroughness of the translation. You'll look at this and you go, okay, even if this is like some techniques and things you might know, you have the, you have, um, the true form of the manuscript. So it's a good reference piece, even if you're an experienced practitioner. Um, this is a book I wish I was gifted a copy of this, like as a child, as a teenager, as an early human practitioner, whatever. This would have been a great gift um, to anybody who's maybe a layman, even, of to sword fighting. Um, okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, this is a great book. Highly recommend it uh, if you're a student of mine or if you're not. get to Pick up this book. It's cheap. You'll love it. Thanks for listening. Uh, never stop learning. Please train safely. If you have any questions about anything I didn't cover, please ask it in the comments below. Um, also, please like, subscribe, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, links will all be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.